vlog. If you are new here, my name is Kim. I'm a third year teacher in West Michigan and today's video is actually sponsored by Dreamscape, which I'm going to talk about more later in the video. They are an online literacy resource that I think a lot of us who are doing distance learning might enjoy using. Today I thought it would be fun to share my at-home workspace. So this is like my office. If you followed along with my channel for a while, you know that we call this room the cat room, but it also doubles as my office space. So I've worked on kind of making it a cozy space so that way if I want to do any lesson planning here I'm able to do that if we end up having to go remote at any point during the year then I'm able to use this space for that and I think toward the end of this video I'm going to talk a little bit more about my school's reopening plan and what we're doing as of right now I feel like this year things are ever-changing and so there's no word on if this is like the final plan but as of right now it's the plan <laughs> so things are always changing this year and I feel like every single day I get new information or different information and so no promises that things are going to the same for me but I did want to share a little bit about that so you'll see that at the end of this video so stay tuned for that so I filmed the bulk of this video the other day and now I'm coming on and doing my like intro and outro and all that fun stuff but I did want to say that the first thing that I'm gonna show you over here is that I switched out the pictures that I had up for my influential people posters and I actually might put some more up I haven't decided yet but I did get some behind the scenes of me replacing my pictures that were up with these posters so let's go ahead and jump into that first So this is what this space ended up looking like. I think it looks really, really nice. However, part of me feels like maybe I should print out some more of my posters and kind of like put them closer together and then have more up there because I feel like it might look better if I had like it over that way a little bit and then had one more column that way. So I don't know. I haven't 100% decided, but I really like how it looks. I think it's really cute and it gives more of like a classroom vibe than just the pictures that I had. And then I'll show you everything over here. So these little pencil cups are from Home Goods or like TG Maxx. They are the Ray Dunn brand. And then the eucalyptus, fake eucalyptus plant that I have back there is from the Magnolia Home line at Target. I got that last summer. This little perpetual calendar is from Big Lots and I totally love it. Last year in my classroom, I had a student job of secretary and one of the things that the secretary would do was change the date every day. So that was super helpful. This little plaque is also from like TJ Maxx or Home Goods, and it's also Ray Dunn. I think it's really cute. This lamp is from Amazon. I'll try to remember to link it below if I can find it. And I really like that it has the little USB on the side so I can charge my phone or my Apple Watch or whatever I choose to charge during that time. And then I just have a little oil diffuser from Amazon as well. I have some books, just some picture books that I was using over the summer. This is actually my getting ready area over here, so I'm not going to go too much into that, but yes, that is what that space is for. And then I have my laptop right here. <laughs> this obviously is not an actual laptop stand, but it's just like a clear little box that I got from TJ Maxx, and I just have it turned upside down. It's actually meant to be like for a refrigerator or something, but I find that it helps me just kind of have it leveled up a little bit. I have my hydro flask over there and my phone. I talked about this cart already in a vlog, but I totally love this. And I will try to remember to link that vlog below if you're interested in seeing everything that's like in or on <laughs> this cart. I absolutely love it. I love how it turned out. I love that I can move it around the house. It's just perfect. And then I have tripods going on over here, but I just recently got this rug. I totally, totally love it. There's my new little slippers too from Amazon. Aren't those cute? But yeah, rug is from Amazon. It is like perfect for this space. I didn't want any Thing that was too big but I did want a little rug right here so I love how that looks. This cart I also showed in a recent vlog. This will most likely be coming to school with me once I start doing some moving next week but for now it's just right here. You totally could use this for at home teaching though too and just put like your lessons for each day in here or like picture books you're going to use or whatever you choose to have but yeah planning on bringing that into my classroom. 
I get a lot of questions about this cart. This is, I guess it's not really a cart because it's not on wheels, but this little shelving unit, this is from Ikea and it is the Alex drawer set. And I've had this since my freshman year of college and I absolutely love it. I actually to keep like jewelry and socks and all that stuff in there. So <laughs> nothing too exciting. And then I have my printer on top. I love this printer. So here are the details on that. I will link this below as well. And I have HP Instant Ink, which saves a ton of money because you just pay like for a certain amount of pages per month and then you can print up until that many pages and they just send you new ink so you don't have to actually pay for the ink. And then this top drawer has my cardstock. This is my favorite cardstock. I totally love it. It's the Nina brand and it's just light cardstock. So I always have some of that on hand as well. And it is my absolute favorite. And then this is more kind of like printer type stuff. So I have like some vinyl, some sticker paper right here, binder clips, some tape. And then this is the last drawer that I have some vinyl in and like transfer tape. So yeah, then I have this chair from Amazon, which I love. And this actually I stole from my classroom at the beginning of distance learning. So I might return it, I haven't really decided yet. And then I think this pillow was from Bed Bath & Beyond, I'm pretty sure. Here's the space over this way. Like I said before, this is the cat room. So I share it with Jack. And then over here in this space, you can see I have Dreamscape on my computer right now. They are actually sponsoring today's video, so I will talk more about them in just a little bit. But yes, this is what the website looks like. So I hope you guys enjoyed that behind the scenes of my work from home space. And I wanted to introduce you to Dreamscape. They are actually sponsoring today's video, which is awesome. They reached out to me probably about a month ago and we've just been talking back and forth and I've been talking to them about how I can use their platform this year with my students. So I'm really excited to introduce it to all of you guys as well. Dreamscape is owned by the same company as Squiggle Park. So if you're familiar with Squiggle Park and that sounds familiar, Dreamscape is a product from that same company. So Squiggle Park is a paid resource, whereas Dreamscape is completely free to teachers, which is awesome. It's almost like a freemium type product because you get all those awesome premium features, but it's all completely free, which is the best price. I know if you're anything like me, I love ed tech. I love hearing about different programs, but I feel like so often when I hear about a program on Instagram or YouTube or wherever, I look it up and it ends up being astronomically priced. And for me as a teacher, like I feel like I spend so much money in my classroom already and I just don't have a huge budget for all of those extra things especially when they usually end up being hundreds and hundreds of dollars so it definitely stood out to me that dreamscape is completely free dreamscape is a game based program so it's gamification it's fun for kids I know if your students are anything like mine they love playing video games they love talking about video games they love talking about the different like things they've earned in video games and I feel like it's just a constant subject that comes up in our class or during recess and all that fun stuff my students love gamification resources. They love learning while they're playing and having that game aspect to it and almost a little bit of competitiveness with that and talking to each other about like their scores and how many points they earned and all that fun stuff. Dreamscape is a literacy resource that's geared towards second through eighth graders. So kind of that upper L to middle school type grade range. And it helps students with reading comprehension and practicing going back to the text and answering questions. And as a teacher, I love that it already has those passages and those questions in there and it's not anything that I have to provide so I would love using this during like center work I think it would be a great incentive for the kids as well when we have technology time a lot of times with my students in my physical classroom through the past couple years what I've done is offering extra tech time or free tech time as an option if we earn it and so then what kids are able to do is pick through a list of different resources that we've used before and they can play on those resources or you know go on them or whatever it might be and I've noticed that Usually when we do this, my entire class ends up on some sort of gamification type website. So they end up playing some sort of educational game. So I definitely think that this one is going to be a great fit in my classroom. I've taught fourth grade for the past two years and my kids just absolutely love things like this. So I love, love, love the idea of this product. I'm really excited to use it with my kids this year. And I have a feeling that a lot of them will enjoy doing this at home as well. So this is something that I'd love to model to them in the classroom. I would show them how to use it and kind of get them excited about it. And then when they go home, 
home, I can give them their login information so that way they're able to log on at home as well. I know a lot of you watching this video are probably starting the school year out online, and if that is you, this would be an awesome resource for your students as well to just have some extra fun while doing some learning too. This resource is really kid friendly and kids are able to navigate through it because it's very similar to other video games they've played before. So kids will figure this out very easily. It's not something you have to do a lot of explaining for, which is awesome as a teacher because it kind of leads itself. And they have a variety of different skills that can be mastered using this resource. So there's a ton of different things that align with common core standards, which is awesome because I know for me as a teacher, it's like we can teach all of those things in the classroom, but it's really great if they can have them reinforced through a game that they play during like center time or at home or whatever it might look like. So some of the skills might be like comparing and contrasting, visualizing, predicting, all sorts of things that are going to tie in with your standards. If you're interested in creating a free Dreamscape account, I'm going to have a link below that you can use to make your own free account and you're able to link it with like your Google Classroom or you can sign your kids up otherwise as well. Super easy to use and I'm really excited to integrate this into my classroom this year. So thank you again to Dreamscape for sponsoring this video. So I just quickly wanted to show you their website and show you how you would make your own account. So you would just go to the link in the description box and then it will bring you to this website right here and you can kind of walk through it and learn a little bit more. On this website, they actually do have tutorials for students, which is awesome because if you are starting off the year remote, then you could send this out to students and they could figure out how to do it completely on their own. They also have a free webinar if that's something you'd be interested in, especially if you haven't used any similar resources and this is totally new to you. I think that could be really, really helpful. You can download the app on a variety of different devices, which is awesome because I know some people use like iPads and some people use Chromebooks and all sorts of different things. So I love that it's available on multiple different devices as well. There are also some testimonials down here that you can read and all sorts of fun stuff. So for students to get started, they can press student play. But if you're wanting to get started as a teacher, then you would go to get your free account. And then what you would want to do is press this educator button. For me, I just have it linked with my Google account, so I'm able to link in my Google Classroom as well. So as promised, it is the end of this video now, so I did want to share with you my district's current plans. These plans are constantly changing, it feels like, and so no promises that this is going to be like our end plan or what we end up with or any of those things. I'm just taking it one day at a time, trying to control what I can, like setting up my at-home office and learning a new resource like Dreamscape, so I'm honestly just taking it one day at a time. I don't have all the answers. I honestly feel like this year is just going to be such a whirlwind and we're all just going to be trying to control what we can and I am trying to accept the fact that like I can't do everything right now and so I'm trying to just focus on certain things that I can do that make me happy, bring me joy, and will help me be prepared for this school year. So my school district doesn't actually start the year until September 1st so as of right now when I'm filming this it is August 14th so we still have a little bit of time before our school year starts and I kind of feel like that's why we've been so up in the air about what's going on and trying to navigate you know what other districts are doing or what other states are doing because I know a lot of you are either back at school right now or you're starting up school in the next couple weeks. I don't actually start school until you know a few weeks from now though and so yes things may change. Things are always changing it feels like but as of right now parents were given an option to either choose completely online or completely in person. However the online schooling is not going to be directly through my school district. They're actually kind of contracting out a different company that's going to be doing that online schooling. So those students, at least at the elementary level, that's what I really know because I teach elementary, so I'm not really going to think too much about the secondary level in this video because I just don't think it's relevant for me. So at the elementary level, students can choose to be all online. However, they can switch at any time. And so we have to still have a seat for them and a spot for them on our class roster. So that way, if they start online and then realize that it's not a good fit for them, they're able to come back into the classroom at any time during the school year. So I expect that numbers will probably fluctuate quite a bit. We haven't been given our rosters yet and parents actually have until today to decide if they want to be 100% online or 100% in person. So I really don't know what it's going to look like yet. I don't know what percentage of kids are going to be in person, what percentage is going to be online. I really have absolutely no clue. And then I also kind of wonder throughout the school year like how many kids are going to start in person and end up online or start online and end up in person. I just really don't know. <laughs> and so we will wait and see, but I have absolutely no answers for that at this point. Any students who are in person, we will still be five days a week, normal hours. We do have increased sanitation that's going to be going on. And then they also did vote this week to have kids wear masks. At first, it was only going to be 
secondary wearing masks, but now all kids pre-K through five and up will be wearing masks at all times, except for when they're eating. Teachers will be required to wear masks as well um, throughout the entire school day, except for when we are eating as well. And there's gonna be limited contact with other classes, so you're pretty much gonna stay in your classroom all day. Instead of the kids going to specials, the specialist is going to come to the students, so they'll probably be on a cart, I'm guessing, and they'll come into the classrooms and teach in that way. And yeah, this school year is just gonna look totally different, and so many of you have been asking me about my school's plan, so that's the plan as of right now. Things may change, and even as I'm filming this video, it's Friday, and I'm planning on posting this video on Sunday. And tomorrow, on Saturday, I believe the Michigan lawmakers are sitting down and they're talking about school reopenings. Okay, so my memory card just filled up, so I had to quickly delete stuff and then put my camera back on, so I apologize if the positioning of the camera is like slightly different. But I think I was just saying that like, there is so much unknown still this year and I am just taking it day by day and I think that's really all I can do right now. <laughs> so I will keep you guys updated as I find out more and as I begin sitting at my classroom and just if I have any ideas or tips or tricks for starting in person and trying to keep kids safe. But I would love your suggestions. So anyways, Jack is trying to knock over the tripod so we're just going to cuddle him for a second. We'll put him on my lap. So anyways, that is the plan for right now and we will see what happens. <laughs> so that's all for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you haven't done so already, remember that there are links in the description box to make your very own Dreamscape account for free, which is always great, the best price there is. <laughs> if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please take a second to consider subscribing and turning on that post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. I have classroom setup vlogs coming up very, very soon within the next like week or two, so you'll definitely wanna stay tuned for those and then just all sorts of other fun stuff. I have a classroom tour coming up this week and yeah, just lots of craziness. So make sure that you're getting notified every time I post a new video by just pressing the little bell below. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!